Surveillance video shows a thief targeting a brewery in Chester County. It happened early yesterday morning at Locust Lane Brewery in Malvern. The person here behind this, they say, damaged the business and got away with cash. Action News reporter John Paul live for us now in Malvern with those details. John. Yeah, Shari, still some very clear signs. There was a break in here. You can see the window is boarded up. This pretty thick board right here. There's also still a few pieces of glass out here. But despite the break in, the brewery is staying open. This big pane on this side is gone. Tom Arnold has never had so anything like this happen in his nearly seven years in business. A million little pieces of this stuff everywhere. He runs Locust Lane Craft Brewing in Malvern. And on Wednesday morning, he was greeted to this smashed out window. But burglary was the last thing on his mind. Did you, like what happened? Like did a bird hit the like or you know, did a keg explode? Like what happened? Yeah. Until I realized what actually happened. He realized what happened when he saw this mangled cash register. His cameras caught the whole thing. A man wearing a mask and gloves jumped on the counter and went for the register. He even threw it on the ground and used a crowbar to pry it open. You can see he helped himself to the money inside. Next, he went to the back of the business where the beer is brewed. Here's the safe that he went to town on. He pried open this safe. Luckily, it was empty. After about 15 minutes, the man left with the cash, leaving a trail of damage and uncertainty behind. We're already kind of, you know, treading water as it is. And yeah, just have one more thing. Now it's, you know, do we have to add cameras? Do we have to have more security? Um, we got to pay for all of this damage and get that straight and taken care of. So it just, it just creates uncertainty when you don't need it. It's already a difficult climate for many breweries with competition and inflation. And this crime is just one more hurdle. But Arnold says they're able to stay open and they're working to get the damage repaired. He's just glad whoever did this left the brewing equipment alone. If there's a silver lining in everything, that's, that would be it. We can still operate. They are still operating tonight. In fact, it's a pretty much a full house inside. And this is a busy time of year for them. We got the holidays. Also, they host a lot of charity events here. So I did talk to police today. They do not have any suspects in this, but they did tell me there have been other similar break ins in different areas. Live in Melbourne, John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Shari, Rick. All right, John, thank you for that report.